Hey, Money Coach Joe here. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I update my investment portfolio at the end of each month so that I can keep track of all of my investments and how they are performing as a whole. All of this is done inside the platform Snowball or Snowball Analytics. So if you're already using that platform Snowball and have gotten lost in the process of updating your portfolios along the way or confused at any point, then this will serve as a great step-by-step -step walkthrough for you. And if you haven't used Snowball before and you're looking for a platform Form that can help you keep on top of all of your investments all in one place like I talked about as well as providing you with great in-depth insights on your holdings and portfolio performance then this video is for you. Without further ado I'm going to jump into my screen share and get straight into it. Okay guys welcome into my screen share. So the first thing I want to do is just walk you kind of through the the dashboard is what they call it over here so you can see dashboard. Now the way I've set up my snowball I feel is really really nice and straightforward so I basically got my total net worth as such. So this basically includes all of my investments that aren't, you know, real estate or things, essentially everything I can track on like an app or a website, right? So this is all of my individual stocks, my funds, my pension, and that kind of thing. So what I've got is my Coinbase account for my cryptocurrencies, my head and over, which is my alternative assets, and I have a separate video covering that. I've got my ISA, which is my individual stocks and some ETFs as well. And then I have my SIP, which is my self-invested personal pension. So all of these add up to cover my total net worth. So in this total net worth tab, I've got a breakdown of the different names of like the funds. So the different kind of asset types that I want to build up into my portfolio. So these are set by me, by the way, so I can adjust this in this tab over here. Um, and what I've done is I've set the allocation targets that I want to aim towards. So I want 70% in funds, around 15% in growth stocks. I want around 5% in alternative assets and 5% in cryptocurrencies, and then around 5% in dividend stocks as well to provide me with a good diversified portfolio for long-term growth, okay? Right now, I'm not looking for income from my investments. I'm looking for long-term growth, which can then transition into income later on in my life. So this dashboard just shows me whether I am on target or off target from the allocation percentages that I've set myself. And then if I want a further breakdown of each one, you can see that I can click on each one and the pie chart over here changes to show me the breakdown for my funds section of my portfolio and how that section specifically breaks down as well. And if I go into growth stocks, then I can see how that percentage of my overall portfolio is split between my different growth stocks um, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. Now, what I wanna show you in this video as promised is how I update my portfolio at the end of each month. So this is a fresh month. I haven't actually done this yet. So I'm gonna walk you through it step by step as I'm actually doing it live. So this is all off the cuff. Hopefully it will show you how smooth this process is and you'll obviously wanna start using Snowball. Um, so what I'm gonna do, first of all, is I'm gonna update my ISA. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to that specific account. I'm gonna click on it. And then what I need to do is I need to import a spreadsheet for this one. So for most people, it will update automatically. For most people, you can sync your specific brokerage account with Snowball and you will never have to do anything ever again. Um, it will update automatically, you know, every now and again in the background to keep everything up to date. Unfortunately, they haven't linked with my brokerage yet in the UK, which is free trade. So I just have to import a spreadsheet, which is really easy to do. So if you're similar to me, then I'll show you how to do that now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screen share with you from my phone so you can see what's going on here. You probably can't see my face anymore, but welcome to my phone. Um, so this is my portfolio. So I'm gonna go to activity. I'm gonna go to that little top right box up here. I'm going to click on all activity to export. It's going to load for a minute. Da, 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 da. And once it's downloaded, I'm going to share that as an airdrop with my MacBook Pro. That's now shared over. Click done. And then I'll escape from this screen share. And then what I'll do is I'll just bring this up over here. Downloads. And you can see what I've got here is the activity feed that I just downloaded. All I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that and I'm going to drop it in there. And then it's going to swirl around and do some bits and pieces for a second. You can see these three dots showing. And then eventually it's going to come up saying complete but there were a few problems detected. This has never actually been an issue. Um, so I always just click complete 
and then it updates everything for me. So you can see my most recent purchases here. So you can see that I bought some Zscaler today. Um, I bought some more of the S&P 500 fund today, some more legal in general today, um, and so on and so forth. You can also see that I bought you know, trade desk this month and all of those other bits and pieces. So you can see it runs through in date order, all of the buys and sell orders. And then what I can do is I can go back to my dashboard and I can see the breakdown of this portfolio and how it's performed. I can look at the breakdown of the different uh, asset classes or, you know, market sectors. It gives me information on the top gainers for the day, the top losers for the day. It gives me recent and upcoming events on earnings. You can see obviously Nvidia is absolutely killing it at the moment. Um, and then you can see latest news articles as well and whether that news is overall positive, negative, um, or extremely positive or extremely negative, which gives you a good indication of the market sentiment around that stock as well. But that's for another day. If you are a dividend investor, I can't recommend this platform enough because it is an absolute game changer for seeing and mapping out your dividend income, um, seeing what your dividend growth has been and so on and so forth and also setting goals right so i've set a goal for income which is telling me is achievable in 21 years based on what i've put in so far i need to update this um because it's it's way off at the moment but essentially you can set an income goal of say 50 grand a year it's put in your investments and what you're investing per month right now and it'll tell you how long it'll take to achieve that based on your average returns so far so really really helpful i can also go to analytics and i can see a further breakdown of things like my growth for example and i can compare this to my benchmarks which are the s p 500 and the nasdaq um, and I can choose different time periods as well. So if I start at seven days, you can see my portfolio versus the S&P versus the um, NASDAQ and the green is the period of time in which I've been invested for and how much I've invested. Um, and then I can go over different time periods um, to see how my portfolio has fared versus those funds um, and so on and so forth. And, you know, there's just a ton of analytics in here. You can spend ages and it's brilliant to give you those insights to see how your portfolio is actually performing as a whole. Um, now, what I'm going to update next is my Coinbase. So now what I'm going to update is my cryptocurrency portion of my portfolio. So I've selected Coinbase from there. I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to update data, update from beginning of this year, click update and let it swirl around and do its thing and then in a few minutes it will update and all of the changes will reflect in my main portfolio can take a few minutes so what i'll do is i'll cut the video here and then i'll join back in once it's done so i've just got my uh, brokerage account connecting for coinbase at the moment which is refreshing in the background always takes a little bit of a while so what i've done is i've just opened up another window so i can get uh, the rest of this job done as well so i'm going to go to my head and over fund next so the head and over fund is an alternative asset hedge fund which is not currently linked to like the stock market or anything like that. So you do have to add this manually if you do have something like this. And you can do the same thing with your real estate assets or, or anything like that. So you can keep track of those as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my head and over fund and I'll show you this again via the screen share. Go into my phone, go into my head and over fund, which will log me in. And then all I want to do with this is get the current net asset value, which is the, basically the price per share for this particular thing. Now, they actually sell them in what's called blocks, but the, um, the net asset value is the price per share. So it's currently $609.33. So I'm just going to come out of this screen share now. And then what I'm going to do is just click on the actual position in my portfolio there, which will take me to this page. And you can see that I've got the price here and I can just change the current price. So as of today, the price is 609.33 and I will save that and it will update. And that will update all of the returns for all of the buys. And I've never sold any of this, but if there was any, all the sales I've ever made as well to give me my current average um, my average returns and things like that. Okay, um, so you can see I'm doing extremely well with this position. Um, and if I go to my analytics, um, you know, I can see that I'm up currently around 219% on this position, which is very good. And that for the rest of my portfolio is it because I haven't bought any more um, investments in my pension 
this month so i don't need to update the number of shares that i own manually in here the price is linked to snowball so that automatically updates for me you can see i'm doing really well on this one as well so all i need to do now is go back to my total net worth to see what the impact of all of those changes has been so you can see that my net worth has grown um, which is really good to see now what i really love about this platform is its ability to show me as i mentioned at the beginning of this video how my portfolio is performing as a whole because i don't want to know just how my pension is doing or just how my individual stocks are doing or anything like that i want to know how all of it is performing as a whole i own all of it because it's my one diversified portfolio right and i've diversified it as such to try to outperform the market now to see how i'm doing in that respect i simply go to my net worth which is the collection of all of my portfolios together which is automatically set up and managed and you know all calculated by snowball and their genius platform and then i go to analytics i go to growth i've got my benchmarks here which you can change if you want to you can compare it to you know the arc innovation fund you can compare it to pretty much anything if you just search for it but i like to compare it to the s p 500 and the nasdaq specifically and then what i can do is I can see that my portfolio is this blue line here and if I hover over it, it highlights it, right? You can see that versus the S&P 500, which is there versus the NASDAQ in the purple versus ARK in the green, which is terrible. And I can see my portfolio for the last six months is ahead of the S&P 500 by 6%, ahead of the NASDAQ by 5% and ahead of ARK by 33%, not that that's hard. And then if I look on a year to date basis, again, I can see that I'm ahead by around the same amounts. If I look on a one year basis, Again, still ahead by quite a significant margin. And if I look on a five year basis, this is what's really important is obviously the long term. Um, I don't expect to be that far ahead, but I'm actually 8.7% ahead of the S&P 500, 3% ahead of the NASDAQ, which is expected really because it's indicative of a portfolio that's quite heavy involved in tech like my portfolio is and i'm 52 percent ahead of the arc innovation fund um so maybe i should be an asset manager um, i can also see uh my portfolio performance um by year down here on a percentage basis i can see the dynamics of my portfolio return so the years that it's gone up versus down and how much it's gone up and down in each year and also where my returns have come from obviously things like nvidia my head and over fund being at the top uh, crowd amd mealy and things like that and all the losses that i've made along the way as well which is nice to see um, but it's really really powerful and i love being able to come in and just see that my portfolio is in fact performing how I expect it to. And if it's not, then what changes I need to make to bring it back in line with what I want it to be doing. Now, I'm not a dividend investor, but I do just wanna show you this just in case you are, because it is really, really helpful. So for example, if you own assets like um, Microsoft or Qualcomm or United Health or Apple or Meta or any other stock that pays a dividend, then you can come in here and it will show you a dividend rating. So a score of how reliable that dividend is. It's going to show you what your annual, annual dividends are, the yield payout that you're going to receive, um, the annual growth of your dividends by different stocks, the dividends that you've received by month and by quarter and by year. Um, and, and so on and so forth, and also the dividend growth, so by year as well, which is also great to see. So if you're a dividend invest and if you're a dividend investor, it's even more powerful, but also as a growth investor, it's a game changer. The reason I love this platform so much is like I said, it allows me to see everything in one place rather than me having to log separately into my Coinbase account and see what's going on there. And then separately into my head and over account to see what's going on there, then my ISA and then my SIP, and then trying to deduce myself whether I'm doing well or not based on all of that, you know, different information across four different platforms. It's just not possible. It's not what anyone wants to be doing with their time. I love that I can just plug all of these in to Snowball and just have it do it all for me. So if you found this beneficial, I will leave a link for the Snowball platform in the description below so you can go and sign up. It takes so much of the headache out of managing your portfolio it helps with things like rebalancing and everything like that so i'll do more videos in the future on how to run through those things but bottom line is this will make your investing life easier 
and it will make you more likely to succeed because it will show you if you're on track and also then help you make decisions about how to change your investment approach to get back on track if you're going off track. So if you're not already using it, of course, I highly recommend you go and do it. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go and grab a copy. The second link in the description below will also be a link to where you can access my entire portfolio, all of my positions in my real time buy sell alerts as well. So if you found this video beneficial, please hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. I'd massively appreciate it and have a great day and I will see you in the next video.